Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to today's lesson. The topic for this lesson is Top 10 Pickup Lines to Use at Your Own Risk. Let's get started. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? The way this pickup line is typically said is, a guy goes up to a girl and says, did it hurt? And the girl says, did what hurt? And the guy says, when you fell from heaven. This one is so bad, it's good. A lot of people will hear it and laugh. Uh, did it hurt when you fell from heaven is implying that uh, you, you are an angel or you're just so wonderful. So it's a very easy way to flatter someone. Next one. Are your feet tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Are your feet tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. This is yet another cheesy pickup line. When you say you've been running through my mind all day, it's another way of saying, I can't stop thinking about you. So this is a fun way to tell someone, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. You've been running through my mind all day. You're so hot, you would make the devil sweat. The next one is one I've never heard before, but here it goes. You're so hot, you would make the devil sweat. Telling someone he or she is hot is a way of saying he or she is attractive. You're hot. She's hot. He's hot. In English, especially American English, we use hot to describe someone who is physically attractive, whose body looks good. So if you tell someone, you're so hot, you would make the devil sweat, is drawing a comparison between the word hot used to imply someone looks good, but also hot like, whew, super hot. What number should I call to say goodnight to you later? Next one. What number should I call to say goodnight to you later? This is a very presumptuous thing to say. It's a sly way of asking someone for their phone number. Oh, what number should I call to say goodnight to you later? It's saying, can I have your phone number? What number should I use to say goodnight is essentially saying, hey, I'm going to call you later. Can I have your number? Someone should call God because heaven is missing an angel. Next one. Someone should call God because heaven is missing an angel. This is a very silly pickup line to tell someone that they are angelic and so wonderful and beautiful. Someone should tell God that an angel is missing because here you are, you're an angel. It's a big, huge way to flatter someone. Uh, it's very silly. It would probably make the girl laugh. It's very similar to saying, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? You are like pizza. Even when you are bad, you're good. You're like pizza. Even when you're bad, you're good. Pizza, my favorite topic. This, first of all, is implying that no matter what, pizza is delicious. And this is fact. Pizza is always good. Even bad pizza that might be oily or overcooked, it still tastes good. So this is telling someone, no matter what, you are still good. Even when you're bad, you're good. It's implying that they can do no wrong. There's nothing they can do or say that will turn you off, that will make you not like them. Just like pizza. It's a wonderful love affair with pizza. Is it hot in here or is it just you? Next one. Is it hot in here or is it just you? Is it hot in here or is it just you? This is another play on words. In English, especially American English, when you think someone is physically attractive, you would say they're hot. It's sort of a slang term. So if you go up to someone in a bar and you say, whew, is it hot in here? Or is it just you? That's a play on words because hot, of course, is used to describe the temperature. 
but it's also used to describe someone who is attractive. So if you say, it's hot in here, it must be you. It's a cute play on words. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Next one. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Telling someone they've stolen your heart is another way of saying they have your heart, uh, they, you have feelings for them. Your whole heart belongs to them. So if you tell someone you've stolen my heart, it means you can't stop thinking about them. They have your heart. You have feelings for them. Your heart belongs to them. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by you again? This next one is pretty good. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by you again? Love at first sight is a phrase to describe when two people fall in love the first time they see each other. You'll hear this a lot. It was love at first sight. Maybe a guy talking about the first time he saw someone who's now his wife. He saw her from across the room and she was so beautiful. He just fell in love with her right then and there. It was love at first sight. So this pickup line, which is cheesy, is, do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by you again? It means, do you believe in falling in love the first time you see someone? Or should I walk by you a second time to give you another chance to fall in love with me? Life without you is like a broken pencil. It's pointless. Next one. Life without you is like a broken pencil. Pointless. Saying something is pointless means that there's no point. It doesn't make any sense. If a pencil has no point, it's broken. You can't write with a pencil that doesn't come to a point. So life without you doesn't make any sense. Life without you is pointless. Life without you is like a broken pencil. It's pointless. Well, that brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to go to EnglishClass101.com to learn more English.